Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I am going to try something new here. I've been doing it with the game Factorio, and I've tried it a little bit in the past, and a lot of people actually said that they like this kind of thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, Season 4 of Realm just kicked off. So what I like to do is put out updates every few days. Uh, season 4 lasts for about four weeks. Uh, so I want to try and get it out there, maybe five to seven videos out there, five minutes, super short. Uh, just giving you my update, giving you my progress, uh, and giving you the strategies that I'm trying to work through during this time frame. Um, I, I did play season three. I started a little bit late, uh, but I learned a lot from it. I really focused on the wrong things. Um, and in this video, I did kick off late last night, and I've been playing in the morning. I've been in the office most of the day, so I've been playing through their handy iOS app. So if you didn't know that they had an iOS and an Android app, they do. They're one of the few, including like Taco, that have an approved iOS app that actually plays the game, which is awesome. Um, so I was playing at work, so obviously I couldn't do a video at work, but now I'm home. So let's go ahead and jump in there. Like I said, it's going to be a five minute quick updates. I am still in Africa. My goal is by the end of today, less than 24 hours from starting, uh, I want to be moved into Asia because I think it's incredibly important. And this is where I messed up last time. You want to get at least to Asia as quickly as possible. Because as soon as you get to Asia, you double your production. The downside of that is uh, the levels of your missions jump up. So by the time you get to Asia, your levels of your mission are between five and seven, which are a lot more difficult. So if you don't quite have the, the helpers and the leaders, it does make it a little more challenging. Thankfully, let's just give you a quick recap of what I have. I technically have three five stars, and out of a pack that I grabbed uh, earlier, I grabbed an, I got a four star out of that. So I do have some higher levels, and through Season 23, I was able to level up quite a few of these. So that's very helpful. So that's one of the things that I may have that you may not have if you're just starting the season. But my goal was to start off very quickly and get a decent production. And the one thing that I noticed, uh, I noticed in, in Season 3, uh, your, your first instinct is grab these factories because you think they're going to give you a, a decent amount of production. Uh, which they do. They do. They cost a bit to level up, especially as you continue to level up. And if you keep leveling up instead of going up two every time, you see I'm still in the phase where I can get two additional every minute. It reduces down to one. So it's very expensive. What I've noticed is I try to get to transport also as quickly as possible. This was one of, I think it was maybe the fifth building that I put down. The first building I put down was was factory. Uh, the second building I put down was a training facility and then a, a storage those were the main three. I'm um, sorry, and, and you had four, fourth slot. The fourth slot was housing. So I got the basics down right away, and then I leveled my headquarters up to level four as quickly as possible so I could go ahead and get uh, the research facility and the transport. I actually picked the transport before the research facility because I wanted to get this truck moving because the truck doubles your production very fast also. So I have a decent rate right now of uh, basically of resources. I get uh, 30, 38 every minute, which isn't bad for early stage. Uh, it'll jump up here quickly. Um, and then I started doing research to, to build up a, a lot of those things early. But again, I've been trying to run these missions uh, very quickly. Uh, you can see one just finished here. Uh, it was successful. So I'll go ahead and boost up my, my level. Uh, you can see I'm on level four, maybe hard to see on your screen. I'm on level four and I'm about halfway through the level to 6,000, which will get me to level five, which opens up Asia. So that's my goal right now. Get to Asia before the end of the day. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. I have been building up some of my uh, uh, recruiting and training some of my, re my helpers. So I'm going to go ahead and send them on this mission. Um, I, for level fours, I see about 20 gives you in a good range. I do have the big bonus from my from my general here. He gives me a 10% uh, mission reduction for the requirements. Uh, so that does help out quite a bit. And then I also was lucky enough to pull a, uh, an epic Swiss army knife, uh, which I run on this, this leader. Um, so it gives me a little bit more of a boost, which is nice. 
and then I can just go ahead and 20, usually 86.75 is successful. Um, I have had some fails. I've had some 95% fails, um, which is mind blowing at points and, and frustrating, but it is what it is. Um, and then we're going down here and I need a farmer for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and recruit some farmers. Oops, I forgot to cancel you. So I've been wasting on that. So what we will do, uh, I always forget that. Um, I, I'll say that here in a second, but uh, this is a level five. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is recruit 25 farmers. Um, may not be enough. I think it was in the 25, 30 range, but let's go ahead and set the limit. And by the way, Realm folks, if devs, if you're watching this, the adding of the, the set limit, the automatic uh, helper limit uh, is an awesome addition. Uh, it, it's a little tougher in the early stages, but once you get uh, enough uh, slots to do your helpers, it is clutch. It is awesome. It's one of the best additions that I've seen in a game in a while. So full credit to whoever thought of that and whoever implemented that. Thank you. Um, so we'll go ahead and add them up. I've set it at 25. So it's, we're auto automatically going to build up 25 of these farmers. Once I have that, I'll go ahead and send them on a mission down here. I'm going to continue to do that throughout the day. Um, it's about a, a 15 minute wait in between the missions, but I, at least I can run two right now. Uh, which is different. Again, when I did uh, season 23, uh, I did not focus on these missions till almost a week into it. Then I realized, oh shoot, I need to do those in order to get to more lands and, and get more areas and continents, I guess they're called <laughs> geographic areas. Um, but I didn't focus on that. So I'm trying to focus on that early. I would love by the end of the week to be in North America. Um, it's a bigger jump from Asia to North America just because of the, the continued increase. It may be shorter with the, the different changes that they made with uh, the shorter season. So we'll see what happens. You saw my housing actually just uh, completed as we're talking. So I'm going to go ahead and boost up my, my research lab. The reason I want to boost up my research lab is because I'm actually kind of limited. I can't use, I can't uh, level these up and there's a number of uh, other items I'd like to start level them up, but I don't have the access to. Plus, it's relatively cheap right now. I've uh, it's it's about 800 to upgrade, which which isn't really a big deal. And then I'll go ahead and grab my my trucks. So that's where I am right now. I'm gonna try and do an update every couple days on this. I hope you're all playing along. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, first of all, I, are you are you playing season four? Uh, where are you at season four and what, what are your goals? Let me know some of your strategies. I don't know if this is the right strategy that I'm playing here, but I'm trying it. And that's what part of the fun is. My, my goal again is to push into other continents as quickly as possible. Uh, I, I focused early on the resources, but it's, it's to the point soon, not quite yet, where they'll flow quite a bit. I think once I get an Asian, I get another factory or two in there, plus the, the truck in there resources isn't really a big concern it's it's just getting the helpers lined up and the training facilities and all that fun stuff so let me know how you're doing uh and i'll talk to you all again thank you